Hey guys, Dan Dunham here. I've got a 28 or 2011 CTS that I've got a clunky, clanky noise coming from the right hand or left hand uh, wheel well. It's been going on for about a year and I just haven't figured out what's causing the problem. So I've gone through a couple of things that uh, I think might help me uh, figure it out, but I've narrowed it down to where it that only does it over sharp, short bumps like expansion joints and that sort of stuff. It doesn't happen over large bumps and it doesn't happen when the brakes are applied. So uh, I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, so I decided to do the pins, the, the caliper pins on it. Uh, it seemed like the caliper was maybe a little bit loose. Um, so I went ahead and got a kit with the little booties and the, the pins themselves. Um, these are the part numbers that you're going to need to order those. Uh, and then, of course, it's got lube in the kit uh, for those pins. So uh, to take it apart, it's super easy. You just take the wheel off. You'll see the caliper right there. This is what it looks like in the back uh, of that caliper. This is how it's actually held onto the, to the upright. You've got a bolt here that you've gonna, you're going to have to remove. And to do that, you've got to take that uh, bolt right there and hold that with a 17 mil wrench. Um, so once you've got that done, uh, the caliper just swings down out of the way. You don't even have to take the brake pads off to, to do this job. So um, you can just pull it out. And on mine, you can see it's kind of a rusty, gunky uh, looking um, what, whatever is left over in there. Um, so I sprayed it out with brake cleaner and uh, cleaned out the, the inside of that raceway and um, put it all back together and guess what it still makes a noise so um, while that helped it a little bit uh, it was not the solution so um, anyways so the next thing I did was looked at the clips that hold the brake pads in place uh, so you can see them on the top here uh, here's the bottom one and uh, I noticed that they're while they're there and they seem okay, they don't really hold those pads real firm. So in other words, I can take my fingers and kind of move them around a little bit. Um, probably not what you want. So anyways, I looked at it, pulled it out. Both the top and the bottom were the same. They were just kind of squared off and flat like this. So what I did is I, I took some pliers and I crimped them over or bent them over um, so that they put more pressure on that uh, brake pad uh, down at the bottom. So this is what it looks like when it's reinstalled. <clears throat> you can see it uh, sitting in the caliper and that tongue is just kind of at a 45 degree angle. So anyways, I put it all back together. I put the pads in. Uh, they were definitely held in tighter. Uh, I put the caliper uh, back on, tightened everything up, took for test drive and it worked perfect no sound whatsoever it's kind of weird this is the only wheel that had problems on this vehicle uh, all the other three were just fine so this actually did fix the problem hope this helped you guys have a great day